hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix directx setup could not download the file please read by later or check your network connection let's fix it guys so the video will be long guys because i'm gonna share five step to fix this problem first method what you have to do is you just need to make sure that you have the admin permission on your pc to make sure the changes and install directx if you are on a standard user if you do not have the full admin right you want it able to install it guys okay so what you have to do is how to how you can check that you just need to go to search menu and type control panel click on open it click on user account select the user accounts again now here you will see your username below that you will find whether you are have the admin permission if you not have and if not then it's probably show you that standard account all right guys in case if it is standard or if it is not showing you administrator then in that case you need to look for another video guys that how to get the admin right or how to make an account to administrate you account so just make sure this if you already have then let's skip this part guys and move to the next step second step you just need to disable the firewall and ever virus threat protection guys to do this go to search menu and type firewall firewall and network protection firewall and network protection click on open it guys click on the private network you just want to disable the microsoft defender firewall in here click on s now on left side select virus threat protection under the virus threat protection settings click on manage settings now in this page you just need to disable all of these guys after disabling all of these close out of here now keep in mind guys that after installing directx you need to come this page and again you just need to re-enable it guys because this is very important to turn it back guys third step make sure you have dotnet framework installed on your pc to do this you just need to search for windows features opens up tan windows features on or off click on open it guys now you just need to check mark dotnet framework 3.5 and 4.8 guys you just need to check mark both of it in here you just need to expand both of net dotnet framework and uh, check mark all of these and select ok guys after finishing this in case if you already have dotnet framework then you have to repair it guys for repairing it you just need to check my video description for this link guys click on the dotnet framework repair tool and download it guys after getting download and click on it and install it guys click on s click on i have read it and accept it and select next it will automatically repairs dotnet framework if there is any problem it will fix it guys click on next to continue after finishing this click on next again click on finish guys now before installing directx you need make some changes guys with your network because network can be a problem for this error so we need to reset it guys to do this go to search menu and type cmd click run as administrator and select yes guys now check my video description for these two commands you just need to copy it one by one and paste it in here guys successfully flashed the Diana resolver cache now you just need to copy the any ts guys windshock reset and paste in here guys press enter after doing this we just need to restart our pc guys after restarting our pc you ready to install directx guys to do this check my video description for the download link opens up it and you will be getting directx use end user runtime click on the download option it will be up automatically downloads up and you can also click here to download manually by the installing time you just need to create a folder guys to do this go to file explorer and go to the disk you just want to save the directx right click on the blank area select new select folder and name this as directx press enter now you just need to close out of here 
now after getting downloaded DirectX click on it and install it guys click on S now please type the location where you want to place the extracted files click on the browse option and you just need to select the new volume D expand it and select the DirectX folder we just created it click on OK and click on OK again it will be installing in that folder after getting installed done click on the folder and go to this PC local disk C now double click on the DirectX now scroll down here uh, we getting DirectX setup double click on it and install it guys now it should be installed successfully guys I hope this solution fixed your problem if the video helped you don't forget to leave a like guys and you can also subscribe me and support me guys thank you